Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm sharing six books that I have added to our homeschool routine. These books integrate math and art concepts into their lessons in a fun and engaging way. Jumping straight into it, this book is actually quite brilliant. I just really love how it brings to light the ways in which math and art are interconnected and how beautiful artwork can be created with patterns and shapes. There are so many creative projects in this book. You can do the projects in the pages provided in the book itself. And they even have extra good paper at the back of the book so you can keep on practicing. But we don't tend to use these. Because we all do the projects together, myself included, we need a lot of pages. And the kids like to keep practicing with the designs and changing their scales. So to complement the book, we also got quite a bit of grip paper in various sizes. But you could also just photocopy the grip paper provided at the back of the book if you need more. This is the second and last book so far in this series. And it is by the same author so you know what you're getting into. The layout of this book is exactly the same as the previous one. In these double spreads, you have explanations and step-by-step -step instructions on one page, and the other page is dedicated for you to have a go and practice on. This book also has grid templates at the back for extra practice. This is actually a curriculum in its own right. There are six lessons in this program. At the beginning of each, it explains how the art lesson ties in with various mathematical concepts, the different learning objectives, the materials you need to complete the lesson, as well as giving a full description of the activity. It also provides a step-by-step -step script for teaching each lesson, which is really helpful. At the end of the lessons, there are further ideas that can be explored, and these are a great way to extend the lesson and dive deeper. There are also PowerPoint slides you can download for free to go along with the lessons, if that's something you're interested in doing. This is such a thorough and well done program. The level of detail is just incredible. This is a fantastic book for learning to draw a range of geometric solids. It gives you concise step-by-step -step instructions with images for each shape, including a full-color picture of the finished geometric solid. This book is also by the same publisher, so you have all the instructions. There are also black and white illustrations that make it easier to follow the steps. This is the Creative Form Drawing Workbook Volume 1. This is something that is widely used in Steiner and Waldorf education. I bought this book ages ago and we have been slowly progressing through it and really enjoying it. The exercises in this book are fantastic for developing hand-eye coordination, spatial awareness, observation and concentration skills, drawing skills, as well as working on laying down the foundational skills for handwriting. I like the concept of form drawing for many reasons. I like how the repetition ties in with developing those 
concentration skills and how predictability builds certainty and a sense of confidence. Another key reason why I like it is how it combines several senses with physical movement, coordination and balance. So each exercise becomes a well-rounded sensory learning experience. Anyway, these are some fantastic books and we are thoroughly enjoying them. My kids pretty much ask to do the activities from them on a daily basis and they have definitely been real eye-openers for what's possible when it comes to inspired education. I hope this video was helpful and thanks so much for watching.